What's up, YouTube? I am back. Please excuse the hat. Uh, just had a long battle with COVID-19 and I haven't had a chance to get a haircut in a while, so that's the purpose it's serving right now. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Today, I am tackling automating trades in Thinkorswim using the MACD Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator. And I'm doing this today because throughout the comments of my other videos, I've seen countless requests for me to take on this topic. So here we are. Before I get into this video, I want to start by saying reach out to me if you are the following. I may have a very cool opportunity for you. If you're a software engineer with knowledge and experience in building payments products, if you have expertise in coding algorithms for use on popular brokerages like Thinkorswim or Binance, and if you're passionate about stock options and or crypto trading, shoot me an email and we'll talk. My email address is here at the top of this screen. Before diving into building the algorithm in Thinkorswim, uh, I'll give you a little rundown of what MACD or Moving Average Convergence Divergence is. Uh, and how it's utilized by traders. This definition, as you can see, is from Investopedia. The link is shared in the description part of this video, so you can check it out for yourself as well. But I'll read through the first couple of paragraphs to give you a summary. Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD, or MACD as I like to say sometimes, is a trend-following momentum indicator that shows a relationship between two moving averages of a securities price. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period uh, EMA, so we'll take that as the, the longer term EMA, from the 12 period EMA, the shorter term EMA. The result of the calculation is the MACD line. And you'll see in Thinkorswim that the MACD line is indicated as a blue line. A nine day EMA of the MACD called the signal line, is then plotted on top of the MACD line, which can function as a trigger for buy and sell signals. And you'll see in Thinkorswim, uh, the signal line is indicated in yellow. Traders may buy the security when the MACD crosses above its signal line and sell or short the security when the MACD crosses below the signal line. Moving average convergence divergence indicators can be interpreted in several ways. What we're going to do in this video, uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple and show you how to scan for all the stocks in the universe for which the MACD has just crossed above its signal line so that you can buy those immediately. And then we're going to create an algorithm so that it will sell automatically right when the MACD line crosses below the signal line. Excellent, so let's dive into it. So to start off with, let me introduce you to the MACD indicator and all of its important component parts. So in order to add it to the price chart, hit studies, edit studies, search for MACD, I'll drag it to volume just so the image is a li little bit larger than it would have been if I had put it in lower. Hit OK. And here we have the indicator. So as you can see, we have a couple of lines, and I'll take you through what the blue and yellow lines mean respectively. Uh, and we have a histogram uh, with green and red components. So the blue line is the MACD line which is an indicator of the relative strength of momentum, be it positive or negative. So when the MACD line is positive, it means that price action momentum is positive. And positive is indicated here as above this line. And this line indicates zero, so greater than zero. And as you can see by looking at the parts where the MACD is positive and comparing it to uh, the corresponding price chart, 
where MACD is positive and rising, price is positive and rising. Where MACD is falling or below zero, price is falling. A very common way that MACD is traded is using this yellow line, the signal line. When MACD crosses above the signal line, that indicates the beginning of a bullish trend. So traders would typically buy when the blue line, the MACD line, crosses above the signal line, the yellow line. And just to give you a little bit of an introduction to what the signal line is, um, and there's a link in the description of this, of this video if you want more information, uh, it's the nine-day exponential moving average of the MACD calculation. If you don't, if you're not pressed to go deep into the mathematics of that, don't worry. Uh, but again, no, a common way that this is traded is buy when blue crosses above yellow and then sell when blue crosses below yellow. I want you to pay particular attention to this histogram here now. So the green and the red. As you can see, when the blue line crosses above the yellow line, the histogram shifts from red to green. And when the blue line crosses below the yellow line, the histogram shifts back from green to red. So essentially, when momentum is positive, the histogram is green. When momentum becomes negative, the histogram is red. And pay particular attention to that because we're going to use that uh, in both our scan and our OCO order, uh, which will fulfill our automated selling trade uh, after we buy the stock. And you'll see some more detail on that in a few minutes. Great, so what we want to do now is scan for all the stocks in the universe that have just crossed this zero point. So. All the stocks in the universe where the histogram has shifted from red to green, momentum has shifted from negative to positive, where this blue line has crossed this yellow line. And again, each of those three things are synonymous. Once again, we'll use the histogram uh, in creation of that scan. So in order to build the scan, Click on scan up here. Add a filter, study. Click this pencil icon here. Okay, we're going to edit the study. So in order to create a scan that, that scans for all the stocks in the universe that have, for which the MACD has just crossed the signal line, what we want to do is look at the MACD histogram um, and find all the stocks for which the histogram was below zero yesterday but is above zero today. So in order to do that, Click this, drop down, hit study. We're looking for MACD histogram. So this offset represents the number of days, the number of trading days prior to today. So what we want to do is search for all the stocks that had MACD histogram values of less than zero or negative MACD histogram values yesterday. So offset one means yesterday. It means one day ago. So MACD of yesterday is less than select a condition value zero. MACD histogram of yesterday is less than zero. 
So meaning that the momentum yesterday was negative. Hit save. Now we're going to combine that with another condition saying that the momentum today is positive or MACD histogram of today is positive. So add a second condition here. Study MACD histogram of today. So today means zero, so we can keep this as zero. Is greater than value zero. Great. So this scan is going to give us in real time all the stocks in the entire universe that have just crossed from negative momentum to positive momentum according to the MACD indicator. And again, uh, for many traders, this represents a buying signal, a signal that it's a good time to purchase a stock. So hit OK, and then we're going to Then we're going to run our scan. Okay, great. So let's now pick one of these stocks and take a look at its chart. So let's select TEVA, T-E-V-A. Look at the chart for T-E-V-A. Great, as you can see, the momentum has just shifted from negative to positive, exactly as we intended with our scan. So it was red one trading day ago, and if, if you take a look here, it's just shifted to positive momentum. So it's just a little bit green. So this would be a, an ideal time to purchase Tiva. So what we're going to do is set up an OCO order so that it buys Tiva now and then automatically sells Tiva when the opposite is true, when it shifts from green to red or momentum shifts from positive to negative. So in order to do that, hit command if you're using a Mac, by custom with OCO bracket. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to input the selling criteria so that it sells automatically based on uh, the parameters that we set. So here, this first red line, click the gear here to the right. We'll input our criteria. Here underneath symbol, Tiva, that's correct. Method, we're going to input a study, and then we want to edit or customize that study. So once again, edit. Okay, great. And so in order to have it sell Tiva automatically when momentum shifts from positive to negative, click study. MACD histogram once again. We want the condition when it does sell uh, to be such that on the histogram, it is negative today, but it was positive yesterday. Momentum has just shifted from positive to negative. So offset zero, that means today should be less than zero. So less than value zero, save that. And then to add a condition to indicate that it should have been positive yesterday, add condition, study MACD histogram offset one, that means one trading day ago, one trading day prior or yesterday is greater than value zero. Great. And 
and then hit OK. Save. We want to change this to GTC so that the condition holds as long as it needs to in order to be fulfilled. And then we'll add a stop loss as well. Um, make that GTC as well. Change this to a percentage, we'll say stop loss of negative 10%. So just to summarize what we've created, we've scanned for all of the stocks in the universe for which their momentum has just shifted from negative to positive. The MACD line has crossed the signal line and we're placing an OCO order so that it sells when the first of these things is true. Either its price decreases by 10% or the momentum shifts back from positive to negative or the MACD crosses below the signal line. So what we can do is we can save this order so that we can use it again and again. Save custom order template. We'll save it as MACD cell order. Save. And then if you want to buy, confirm and send. I'm not gonna actually buy this stock, uh, but just for future reference, just want to show you something very important that you would do for all subsequent orders. So let's go back to the scan. Let's select another one of the stocks from the scan. Let's say RIO, Rio Tinto. Great. And once again, as you can see from the scan, the MACD line has just crossed the signal line. Red has just gone to green. Momentum has just shifted from negative to positive, indicating an ideal buy condition. So if we want to use the order we saved uh, to fulfill an order for Rio Tinto, hit command, buy custom, MAC sell order, you can see it's saved here. Great. The only thing we would need to change before fulfilling this order is we need to change the symbol that sells. And it'll become a lot clearer uh, once I go into the criteria. So once again, hit the gear here. And as you can see, TEVA, uh, the symbol that we saved from the prior order is still here. So we'd simply need to change it for uh, this particular order to RIO. Save, and you'll need to do that for every order. And so once you confirm and send this, it'll buy Rio Tinto and automatically sell it when the first of these conditions is true. Either its value declines by 10% or the, MACD, the MACD line crosses below the signal line. Thank you very much as always for your time. Thank you for spending your 20 minutes with me. I really hope this content has been as valuable to you as it's been to me. Until next time, take care.